Hey guys, it's Lisa. I wanted to do a quick video on RPM for AdSense because I get a lot of questions about this. And I think people are unnecessarily freaking out about this little number. So I wanted to kind of explain what it means, what you can derive from it and all that. RPM just basically means your revenue per 1,000 views. The R stands for revenue, P stands for page, and the M is per thousand. So if you see that your RPM is $6, that just means that for every 1,000 page views, you're roughly earning six bucks at that time. That might be what you're earning today, but tomorrow it could be 12. You know, it changes, and that's completely normal because the world of advertising is very fluid. Things change, right? So that number is directly impacted by your click through rate, the amount that you're earning per ad, and as you know, you have no control over those two things, and that's going to vary from day to day. So it's very normal to see this at $1 one day and then $20 the next day. So going back to the example, if you see that your RPM is $6, that means if your site got, let's say, 10,000 views that day, then you'd roughly earn about 60 bucks. It just gives you an idea. But that number is going to change throughout the day because your click-through rate is going to change throughout the day. So you might see that it's $6 in the morning, but then it may be $3 by the end of the day. So it's useful to like look at that number and it's interesting, but don't freak out if it fluctuates. What I like to use that number for, and I talked about this in another video, is it's really useful if you're selling sponsor ads. So if you're selling you know, third-party ads on your website and you're trying to come up with a price, this is a good number to use, but don't use it for the day. Take your RPM for the previous month or previous two months or whatever to get a better read. And you can use this number to determine how much you can charge for an ad. Now it's just a guide. You can you know, increase it, decrease it, but this is still a good stat to use. So how it would work is let's say your RPM is $3. What you would do, let's say your site gets 4,000 views or yeah, page views per month. So you would take that number, divide it by 1,000, and you get four. Now you take your RPM, which is $3, and multiply it by that four, and you get 12. So you would charge roughly $12 a month for that ad. Now, as I said, that's just a starting point. You might decide to raise that if your, your visitors are very, very, very targeted, or if the ad is at the bottom of the page, then maybe you want to lower it. So the RPM is a neat stat to look at, but I feel like people are just stressing out over what it is. It changes all the time. It's completely normal. Um, ads change all the time. Prices for the ads change all the time. And if you think about it, the prices that people pay for their ads, that's what drives AdSense and how much you earn. You can't control what people are paying for the ads, okay? So that's why you don't have as much control with what's going on with the RPM. So it's completely normal that it's changing. I want everybody to relax, relate, release. It's quite normal to see it at $22 one day and then $4 the next. It's just the world of advertising. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.